Hey, what's up? Jigzer here. If you want to customize the sound of your notifications on your iPhone, you might find it a bit tricky. Unlike Android, which has a simple way to do it, iPhone requires more steps. In this video, I'll show you the best way to set up a new notification sound on your iPhone iOS 17. Let's go! This feature allows you to personalize your device and make it unique. You can use any sound file that you have on your phone in the Files app or download one from the internet. On Settings, go to Sound and Haptics, then view the default alerts. Here you'll see a list of pre-installed sounds you can use for audio notifications. You can also pick the classic ones, or even change the vibration for your notification in Haptics. But more interesting, you can also add custom notification sounds to your device. To set up, you need to have downloaded the MP3 notification sound that you want added to the Files app. After you download any file, it usually is in the download folder. Next is to have GarageBand installed on your device. Just click the link above or in the description below if you don't have it. A good internet connection is recommended when downloading the app, as it has a size of approximately 1GB. Launch GarageBand, and from the tracks swipe to find Audio Recorder. On Audio Recorder, tap the third button blocks, like from the left, and it will take you to the audio track. Here, tap the metronome or the blue triangle button, then next is the loop button. Apple loops will appear, but choose the files option. Click browse items from the files app. Select the sound notification you've downloaded and wait for it to appear in the files section. Ensure that the sound notification is not longer than three seconds. Remember that you're creating a notification tone, not a full ringtone. If a sound file is longer than 30 seconds, it won't appear as an option for a custom notification sound on your iPhone. Now tap and hold the sound file and drag it to the track beside the microphone icon. Click the arrow down button and tap My Songs. It will be added to the GarageBand Recents. The next step is to save this as a notification sound for your device. To do this, tap and hold the sound file, then click the Share button. Choose Ringtone. Rename it as Custom. Click Export, then OK. Head back to Settings, Sound and Haptics, then go to Default Alerts. You will find the custom sound notification you've created under the ringtones, named Custom. Select it, and you can now have it as a default alert for all the notifications that you have on your iPhone. That's it. If I could help you, feel free to give this video a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe. Leave a comment down below if you have any questions. See you next time. Bye.